Hi guys, my name is Vineet and in this tutorial we will be discussing about how to insert a new node at a given location of Syncly in Inklist. So let's get started. Now as you can see we have one Syncly in Inklist created with uh, 5 data nodes and we have to perform insert new node at a given location operation on this list. But before that we have to find uh, the location where we are trying to add a new node using backend code. <coughs> So for that we'll be using two pointer approach here. The first pointer will be current pointer which will be keep tracking the record of current node and another pointer will be previous pointer which will be keep tracking the record of previous node. So uh, let's say if we want to add new node at third location here somewhere. So for that we have to traverse each of the node until we'll not reach to the uh, location where we have to add a new node. So um, now in first iteration, we will we will be checking whether current is pointing to null or not. So current is pointing wherever head is pointing means both of the uh, pointers is pointing to the first node of single link list. Now the another condition is count is not equal to location. So count value we have initially is zero, but we are using pre increment. So this will become one, and location value we have three. So one is not equal to three. That's true. So this this condition will become true and uh, the statement of while loop will get executed. So in first iteration we will be assigning current value to previous and current value will be moving one step forward. So let's execute this. Now you can see current is start pointing to the second node of this single link list and previous is start pointing wherever uh, this current pointer was pointing before. Again. In second iteration it will check whether current is pointing to null or not. So current is pointing uh, to node which has data 20 and count value in second iteration it will become 2 and 2 is not equal to location means location value we have 3 so 2 is not equal to 3 that's true. So again it will come inside this uh, while loop and execute this line of block. So again we are assigning current value to previous so this current uh, value will assign to previous means previous will start pointing to where this current is pointing and in this uh, this point will be more this line is taking care of moving current pointer one step forward let's execute this this now now you can see this previous was point pointing uh, to first node of single link list before now it start pointing to second node and uh, this current pointer was pointing to this node before now it start pointing to this node now again we'll evaluate whether this expression is true or not this condition is true or not so current is not equal to null so current is pointing to node which has data 30 so this is not null again and this count value in third iteration will become 3 and location value as we know this is 3 already so 3 is not equal to 3 this condition will become false so due to this and operator um, true and false will become false so this inside while loop this condition will not execute it will come out to this while loop now uh, at that point we know that our current pointer is pointing to location where we have to add a new node okay now let's uh, create a new node so this line is taking care of creating a new node with data 60 now if we execute this line of, of code it will create a new uh, node with data 60 and this newly created node reference will pointing to null by default. Now our job is this this uh, newly created node should start pointing wherever this previous dot next is pointing. So previous next is pointing to this node. So this newly created node should start pointing to here. Now that job is taking care of this line of code new node dot set next. New node we have this and set next we are setting new node next is previous dot get next previous is this and when we do get next so it will give the address of this means this line of code is taking care of connecting <coughs> newly created node to uh, wherever previous dot get next is pointing so let's execute this line now you can see this is start pointing to wherever previous reference is pointing and uh, the the previous reference of newly created node which was pointing to null before it is not is not longer available now our next job is this previous node should start pointing to newly created node here right now that job is taking care of 
previous dot set, set next we are saying previous we have to reinitialize the reference of previous node to newly created node so let's execute this line of code and you can see this is start pointing to newly created node and the reference of um, previous node which was pointing to this node is no longer available and you can see we have added new node in third location of this singly linked list this is one two and three this is what we are trying to achieve now you can see uh, this newly created node got in inserted at third location so this is the graphical representation discussion now let's get started with backend code now so for that I have created one class uh, with name insert node at location now in this class we'll be taking care of uh, writing the logic of insert new node at given location okay now let's get started private uh, void and method name will be insert at loca location it will be expecting two parameters one is location of uh, in type where we'll add new node and another one will be data of integer type so here as we discussed we will be using two pointer approach you can see uh, we'll be using these two pointer current and previous let's initialize those so node current and another one will be previous okay now let's initialize these both with head head is not available here so let's create head first because each of the single linked list has its own head head <coughs> now we have created these pointers now the another job is <coughs> we have to create a new node so create, let's create node and uh, new node is equal to new node so the data of new node we will be receiving from this method in data variable and another job is we have to check whether uh, the first condition is if we are trying to add uh, a new node at first location or before first means a minus one minus two those location will not be available so we will be adding that node as first node of single linked list if location is uh, less than or equal to one so we'll be consider that node as uh, first node of singly linked list that's right node dot set next will be head all right and another one will be head will start pointing to newly created node this is the first use case now in second use case if location is greater than uh, greater than one means it can be two three four anything so at that point time we have to use while loop to iterate uh, um, each of the node so objects dot non null will check will be checking whether current is pointing to null or not if it is not pointing to null and another condition is will checking whether uh, count so I forgot to initialize count here count initially it was pointing to zero it is pointing to zero so we'll use pre increment count count if it is not pointing to location let's give location location okay if it is not pointing to location at that point we will be um, assigning current to previous okay now uh, another job is we'll be moving our current pointer one step forward with current dot get next method now it will be keep checking these uh, pointers means it will be keep moving these pointers forwards until it will not reach to the um, location now it reached to the location it will come outside to this while loop and next to that while loop we have to perform uh, we have to add the newly created node links to the uh, uh, wherever 
previous dot get next is pointing so let's do that node dot set next he, right now we are here we are here now this node next should start pointing to previous dot next wherever previous po previous is pointing previous is pointing to this node so we are saying node dot set next to wherever previous is pointing previous dot get next okay and another is now okay now you can see this is done now another job is previous node should start pointing to newly created node so previous dot set next should be newly created node uh node yeah this is done now um this logic is done now let's write main method to evaluate whether this this logic is working fine or not so for that <coughs> so uh, we have to create a object of this uh, current class insert node at location list is equal to new insert node at location so that will be able to access uh, the non static member of this class so list uh list dot head you can see we are able to access now insert at location now let's create a node nodes uh first is equal to new node with data 10 so we'll do the same things like we have here we'll be creating 2 2 4 five nodes with data 10 20 30 40 and 50 so let's create five nodes 2 3 4 and 5 this value will be 20 30 40 and 50 this reference name let's change this second third fourth fifth now we have created a uh, five nodes let me give comments here nodes of singly linked list now we have to link those nodes together so that it will frame a chain of singly linked list let's give comment chain of singly linked list okay now let's let's uh connect them together so we are saying list dot head is start pointing to first right now for first dot set next will be second and second dot set next should be third third dot set next should be fourth fourth dot set next should be fifth now we have uh we have joined these nodes together and now another uh operation is let's print those nodes first printing of singly linked list now we have already created one class uh print linked list which has method display which is expecting uh head as a input parameter and it will take care of printing all the nodes let's run this now 
and verify whether we are getting all the nodes with 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 data value. Now you can see we have 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and then 50 references is pointing to null because next to 50 node there is no any nodes available. That's, that's fine. Now let's uh, call this method. perform insert node at uh, given location we have insert node at given location uh, we have another op uh, operation that we'll be covering in different uh, video that is uh, insert node at after location insert node after location so but in this video we'll, we are covering only insert node at given location now let's call a uh, list dot insert node at location so location we are as we discussed we'll be passing here uh, 3 1 2 and 3 so location will be 3 and data which we'll be passing here will be uh, 60 you can see here and now let's print these nodes again to verify whether uh, the node which we are trying to insert is inserted or not that is inserted properly or not let's perform now let's run this program so where it is the now you can see uh, first second and third we are trying to add new node that is a 60 uh see at third location we have we have added 60 uh we have added data which has we have added node which has data 60 so first second third is 60 and fourth now uh this node which has data 30 is shifted to fourth uh, fourth location so this is done now if you will try to add a new node uh let me show you again if you're trying to add a new node at first location so this will consider as uh, 70 this will consider as first node of single link list okay see this 70 got added at here that's fine right now if you're trying to add a new again new node which has location less than uh, let's say minus 10 minus 11 okay so in this case it will uh, it should be 80 now so when you're trying to add because there is no any location with minus uh, 11 right so this will consider as a first node of single link list. Now you can see that got added as first node of single link list. We have handled that use case as well. So you can see now this is working fine. Let's perform the same operation again at fourth node. I'm trying to add at uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Let's add this new node at sixth location. And I'm trying to add 100 here now next to 60 we should have 100 next to 60 we have 100 that got inserted as a new node and 30 40 these are remain same so this operation is uh, working fine and we have done with this video guys thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for another videos thank you